Tell me how you and your beloved Jennifer got into the hard cider business. How did this all start? Well, we wanted a cider that represented the region. So uh, we didn't want to call it Utah cider. So Mountain West seemed to kind of cover all bases with us. We felt we could hit the Mountain West states and stay as local as we possibly could. And, and it, that seems to have been a good strategic decision up to this point. We incorporated in 2014, so I guess we're going on our second year. But we opened our doors for sale in uh, November of last year. And then the State uh, Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control approved our cider for selling state stores uh, in February of this year. You know, it's been four or five months since we've just been approved by the state. So tell me, tell me how this operation works. Well, first of all, um, we have our juice processed down um, at the Santa Quinn um, Orchard Facility. Right, right. So the actual juice is brought here. We have selected a uh, special yeast that works really well with it. Um, brings out certain varietal characters that um, give Ruby its characteristics and gives uh, seven mile its characteristics. We literally have the best state of the art equipment here and uh, it's just been a pleasure to to build it and design it and now use it. Literally they just kind of march like little soldiers down a hill. I really enjoy the interaction with the community uh, and my staff. I have an amazing staff and the support that we have. Um, it, it is a challenge owning a business. There's a lot of decisions to be made but at the same time it's exciting to be part of it and to be and to be able to witness this grow. This what started as a small idea um, you know come to life in two years. Utah's really gaining momentum with, with their um, attitudes toward supporting local businesses, which once was like a very large facility is now starting to, you know, the walls are starting to come in on us. So I guess that's a, a good thing. It's kind of a challenge for us, a good challenge to have, just to keep up with their orders. I think the multi-use uh, of this operation is brilliant. Besides making this incredible cider, you have a beautiful space for people to be able to rent for all kinds of venues, corporate, wedding, whatever the case may be. So congratulations on your success and on your business acumen. I'm so impressed with what you and Jeff have done in such a short period of time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that.